Alrighty, so let's add validation for credit card. We'll do things slightly different here. Um, on credit card, for the card number, we only want to have 16 digits as well as the card number. Now, I know that there are some special algorithms that you can apply to card numbers to check the checksum. If it's an American Express or a Visa or a MasterCard, um, I won't cover that. For now, I'll simply check if it's only 16 digits and I'll do that using a regular expression. If you'd like to get into more advanced algorithms on the credit card number checks, feel free to add that in your own time. And also feel free to share it with the rest of the group. And also for the security code, we only want to accept three digits. And then the expiration month and year, uh, they're auto populated based on our previous coding logic. So there's no special validation rules we need to add uh, for this section. So again, just more of the same as far as our development process. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So I'll move in here to our checkout component.ts. I'll move down to our credit card section. So we'll set up our card type to be required. And then for name on card, we'll make it required men of two, not only white space. And then for card number, we'll add validators.pattern. So we're going to make use of a regular expression here. And this regular expression will check to make sure that we only have 16 digits. We'll also make this field required. And we'll apply very similar validation rules for security code. So for security code, only three digits. And remember, we don't need to add anything for expiration month or year because those are pre-populated based on the logic that we created before. So just moving right along here, step two of defining the getter methods to access these form controls. So I'll just copy some previous code. So I'll update the method name here. This is credit card type. And the field name is credit card. Dot card type. I'll just copy this and paste it X number of times and go ahead and make my updates on the method names. So credit card name on card. Credit card number. And credit card security code. And then I'll make the appropriate updates over on the right hand side for the field names. So this is credit card dot name on card. Dot card number. Dot security code.
Alrighty, so just uh, use this as a checkpoint. Make sure your methods match up directly with what I have here on the screen. And uh, this looks pretty good.